Mount Monganui artist Julie Palmer Pengeli is helping lead the resurgence of indigenous tattoos, not just here in New Zealand, but around the world. Māori tattooing was kind of exiled in the early 1900s with the Tohunga Suppression Act, and particularly facial tattoos and anything that looked like um, we were revering our gods was outlawed and so that practice has really only seen the light again through the active measures of a number of artists. Māori tattooing traditionally was um, embedded in, in a cultural practice that was about our interaction with the environment and ensuring that we lived in a way that respected all the resources and everything um, that we interacted with. So um, skin marking for Māori was in a sense a spiritual practice because we believed that everything had a life force, a modi. Last weekend, artists embracing indigenous tattoo practices were showcasing their work at Tauranga's Tattoo and Art Extravaganza. We actually have a trust called Tatuhi Marae Kura Trust and that's been operational for about five years. We've had a number of trips where we've moved as a Māori group and shared those things overseas, like Tahiti was a seminal one for us. The festival featured indigenous tattoo artists from all around the world, many of them looking to Māori culture for inspiration. Because we're now in, you know, like the third sort of wave of revival, a lot of indigenous cultures have been inspired by that and they visually see our culture, whether it's the haka and things like that. So they've begun reviving their own and they look towards us for guidance. Advancements in technology have had an impact on traditional methods. Māori actually made the transition to steel tools, um, particularly on the face, the woman, the chin, um, muku kauai that I wear, that transition was made even when the Tōhunga Suppression Act outlawed practice. You know, the process of colonisation really made it, has made it difficult for people to discern what was traditional and what was, you know, evolved, but we're always going to evolve and I think um, the progress to needles was a very good one because our, our old process was very traumatic. You know, people died um, throughout that process. The tools, we even when we revive our traditional tools today, um, we're very careful about sterile practices. It's one of the important things that we share as Indigenous people, how to make that transition still using tools of old. And while tattoos may seem commonplace in New Zealand, prejudices still exist. I think it's still particularly hard in workplaces and, I th and um, particularly um, on arms and faces. But there is quite a movement of change. I mean, New Zealand is one of the most highly tattooed populations in the world, per capita. There's certainly some very high profile um, mainstream um, workplaces that probably need to signal their, you know, their change because they're quite prepared to accept Māori culture as part of their branding or these sorts of things, but breaking down that, those prejudices are really difficult. But Palmer Pengeli is optimistic about future attitudes changing. There's a huge resurgence of facial tattoos and I think, I hope that for my children and the next generation that that's normalised.